Musoka, the supporters, the members, we salute you once again. Give them a big round of applause. The leaders, uh, headed by Comrade Kaluya, uh, Honorable Mwiru, uh, our deputy spokespersons, all the leaders of Musoka, you did an amazing job yesterday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to thank the people of Busoka, the masses that showed up, braved tear gas, braved live, live bullets, braved intimidation to come and show our solidarity. Thank you very much. We don't take it for granted. That is what the regime fears. They fear people. They fear the truth. And every time you come out in large numbers, you confirm to us that what we're believing in is not wrong. We salute you. Thank you very much. The people of Kamoli, although we were blocked from reaching you, but please know that we saw the solidarity that you were preparing to show us. We salute you. Our leaders who were arrested in Kamoli, and I'll talk about that later, but we thank the people of Kamoli for always standing on the right side of history, for always refusing to be slaves in their land. We salute you. Thank you very much. I was not able to address you yesterday because we were blocked, we were tear gas, many of our comrades were arrested, some were, you know, hurt. I watched with my eyes a baby girl fighting for her life in a taxi where a police officer came and threw a tear gas canister in a taxi after blocking us. So many cars were parked behind because the road was blocked. No car could turn. They could not rush her in hospital. So I watched the baby fight for her life. But even the people among our teams that were trying to save the baby were being beat by the police. So shameless, shame, shameful, but that's the country we're living in. But we salute all of you leaders that we were, were that we were with in Kamoli. My message to the people of Kamoli. Number one, I am coming there and I will reach you by all necessary means. But before we come to you, I want you to know that we are not giving up. I want you to know that what you're supporting is legitimate, is moral. I want you to know that God is on your side, the law is on our side, and the people of Uganda are all on our side. Everybody is struggling for freedom, at least in our lifetime. And we shall see that day, God will. Don't be scared. These people are scared. You saw that we were able, they were trying to block us from reaching Kamoli. But we slowed down. We turned out to be an advantage because we were able to interact with almost the whole of Usoka, from Njeru all the way to Bupadeno. Bupadeno, that's near Bupadeno, even it. So, to the people of Kamoni, don't give up. These people, one, they are scared because they know they are illegitimate. They cannot reason us out. They cannot give any reason, any moral reason for the things they are doing. So, they resort to violence. They resort to brutality. They want to provoke us to violence. We are many. We are millions. But we refuse to be reduced to violence because we know violence only begets violence. Don't fear them. They cannot stand us if we choose to stand up. And this is what we always encourage you. They cannot. They have to solicit police officers from different police stations in Busoka so they can be able to contain us. They had to pick tear gas from all police stations in Busoka to ensure that they can contain us. We did not encourage people to take them on, and yet we can. We could, you know, overcome them and go to Busoka, or to go to Kamuri. But we decided to be the moral people that we have always been, and I continue to encourage you to be non-violent, to be moral, but to be firm, and not to accept to be enslaved on your own land. So my message to you continues to be that we are stronger than these immoral people. We are stronger than these rebels. And non-violence ultimately will win violence. So stand firm. 
to all the people of Uganda. Now you know that if you rose, I mean, the whole of Uganda police was in Busoka. What if the people of Masaka rose up? What if the people of other parts of Busoka rose up? What if the people in Kampala rose up? So when I was with the Tuatira, where it is, sing up to get up much and to make up the Nafena, Kabaka Guamu. Like I said, we shall come to Kamori and we shall reach Kamori. And that will not be very far from now. Yesterday, many of our comrades were arrested in Kamori alone. More than 20 were arrested. But even before I talk about those, as I speak right now, our brother Bobby Young was arrested yesterday. Apparently, the outfits, the NUP and People Power outfits that we wear are now declared to be military uniforms. As we speak right now, an international award-winning fashion designer called Latif Madoy is in prison because he tailored an outfit for me. I wear the outfit. They are not arresting me because so much media is focused on me. But Latif is in prison and other fashion designers are in prison for making clothes for Ugandans. That is how timid they are. We protest them through music. That's why my music is banned in Uganda. We protest them through fashion. That's why now an international fashion designer that has brought so much pride to Uganda is in prison for tailoring an outfit for me. That is what this regime has reduced itself to. I encourage you to continue morally defying them, morally resisting, because the world is with us, and one day history will write about us. Not just those, uh, I've already mentioned that yesterday more than 20 of our staff members were arrested, including Sarah Mufisa, our administrative secretary, and the deputy head of the women wing, Rama Juma. Together with comrades like Shafi Adams, like uh, Bobby, Bobby Rush, and many others. I'm told that this morning they're being taken to court. And be sure that yet another, you know, bogus charge is going to be slapped on them. But that is not new with this regime. They one day claimed that they found two machine guns in my room. Up to now, I don't know where those so-called machine guns of mine disappeared from. So we will stand firm. We will defy that injustice and we will defeat that injustice, God will. I will also remind you 